my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. For today's video, I wanted to express probably one of my favorite Australian shows that I've been watching since I've been living in America, and that is Bluey. Bluey! Now, I became a mum just after I arrived to America, so this show not only I feel makes me feel seen as a parent, but it's also great for me to see all the Australian culture and jokes and scenery that's making me feel a bit homesick. But that's just me though, so why is it that so many other adults love Bluey? It has become a huge phenomenon. If you love Bluey as much as I do, hit that like button. And that's what today's video is about. It's explaining that this isn't just a show for kids, but it is such an intelligent show for adults as well. So aside from the obvious, there's amazing music in this as well as references to Beethoven and other songs. There's loads of Easter eggs as well, which I will be making some future videos on. But it's not a corny cartoon or over-characterized. It's relatable. It's about real life. For real life? Real life. And it's basically just a cartoon version of shows like This Is Us or Parenthood. It's very much that kind of family sitcom shoved into seven minutes and done through cartoon dogs instead. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, starting off with, I guess, the relatability. This show is about just everyday life and everyday life scenarios. Everything from barbecues at home to going to the movies to being stuck inside when it's raining and even to some more sensitive topics as well, like the death of an animal and how to deal with that. Their reality is just normal, everyday things. And there's so many just little sentences that make you go, oh my God, I remember when my parents said that to me, or I've definitely said that to my kids. Mom, what are we doing today? Nothing until you've cleaned your teeth. Not only are there episodes, I guess, aimed for children, but there are a lot of episodes aimed for adults as well such as Baby Race, Sticky Gecko, that are definitely aimed towards mothers. But also other ones, like Stump Fest, that are aimed towards dads and some of the fun that they have in the backyard. Run some tunes, you kids will play. And the ladies watch us get all sweaty. Right, ladies? You got it, Lucky's dad. There are a lot of sort of adult jokes and scenarios in this show. Everything from drinking alcohol but not in like a stupid kind of way, but just, you know, in a regular everyday sense. You're at a barbecue, you're gonna have a beer with your lunch. There's nothing over the top about it. It's just a real situation. Also, the story of how Bluey's parents found it and Chili met is hilarious. Well, there's some dispute, but let's just say at a party in London. And probably really typical of how a lot of people actually met. I don't remember the queen being there. You wouldn't. They also have a messy house and a messy car, just like real people do. It's not fantasized and everything's clean all the time. They show everything being messy. They show the parents being on their phones a lot of the time, or that they're too busy and have to go to work and they can't play. Dad, can you play with us? Sorry, kiddo, I've got to get to work. Oh, I wish you didn't have to work. Real scenarios for real parents. They even show the dad using the toilet and the kids being like, oh no, we have to go in dad's stinky toilet. And it's just kind of funny because that's how we see it. Now, the main reason I think though that parents especially love this show is because for me and my husband, it taught us how to be a better parent to our son. It gives you loads of examples of imaginative play, creative play, different games you can do both indoor and outdoor of the house, but also how you can use those to teach your children life lessons at the same time. Some of the key ones being hairdressers where the mum is teaching Bluey that she has to have patience and to use her ears or find her ears. I'm so happy you're not talking over Bingo. Yeah, I'm helping her find her voice. I know. But if you talk for her, she won't find it either. Oh, so what should I do? You have to find your ears. They're on my head. Louie. Okay. Other episodes where they teach the kids that they need to stand up for themselves and talk for themselves or big girl bark. And for me, probably one of the biggest lessons that I learned in it is how to teach your child not to interrupt you. Okay, how about this? If I'm talking to a grown-up and you want me, you just come up and put your hand on my arm. So now I know that you want to talk to me. Then I'll do this to show you that I know you're there and that you want to talk to me. I thought this was fantastic. I had no idea how to do this. And this episode literally shows you in step-by-step -step process of how you can show your kid how to do that. But it also teaches the parents to just take a step back, take a breather, 
Just let your kids be kids sometimes, let them play. And if you have the chance, then play with them and see how much more they're going to enjoy it. It really shows you the power of play and then how to react to certain situations with your kids to best help them learn too. And the show, of course, doesn't just paint this like beautiful, perfect family and lifestyle. It shows the good and the bad moods. It explains to kids how, when they're in a bad mood, maybe they can get out of it and get into a good mood. How they should react with other kids when they are tired or grumpy or don't want to play. Oh, hooray, Bluey. If your cousin has skipped to sleep, it's up to you to look after her. Muffin should have been in bed long ago. Look at her. <laughs> But the relationships aren't just between the family. There are so many positive examples of parental relationships, parent-child relationships, cousin relationships, friendships between both the kids and friendships with the adults as well. And not ever just focusing on Bluey's family. They show amazing examples of how the other family, the Dalmatian family, reacts differently to the types of games and how each parent is different and might have to adapt to different things with their child. One of the most positive things I think though from just an adult perspective is seeing the relationship goals between Bandit and Chili. The way that they have mutual respect for each other, that they are honest with each other and still playful as well. They can admit that they've lost the romance in their relationship. There's a lot of times where Chili just bails on Bandit and leaves him with the kids. Play tickle crabs. Yeah, tickle crabs. Ooh. See you later. And I can absolutely relate to that too because sometimes you just want to break. But also it shows even when they squabble that they still love each other and that it's just a healthy relationship and the way that you talk and communicate with each other is so important. You're a pain. Oh, great. Well, stop squabbling, I don't like it. We're not squabbling, kiddo. We're just talking. But we still love each other. People shouldn't squabble. You're probably right. And especially the relationship though between the adult friends too. Especially between the two families of Bandit and his brother Stripe and how their wives, Trixie and Chili, are also really good friends with each other but can call each other out on stuff too. And it shows that, you know, the struggles that kids have are the same struggles that adults can have as well. Especially in the episode with Muffin Cone where they're trying to teach Muffin to have restraint but her mom has none either. Yeah, that's a regular human thing too. So it's okay if children have the same problem. The show really makes an effort to demonstrate compassion and empathy towards yourself as well as others. It gives the kids a chance to express their thoughts, their feelings, and it shows the parents kind of guiding the children to work through those thoughts and feelings and come up with solutions on their own. Great dad to stop forever. You see kids, the lesson is... Tickle him! Yeah! Doesn't mean it always happens though. It also shows them being like, ah, we're gonna have to tell you what the solution is to this. Or even situations like in the claw where the kids have no idea what lesson they're meant to be learning and they don't care. And that's okay. Okay. So, did we learn anything today? No. No. Yes. These kids are awesome. This show is really authentic and doesn't do anything to try and insult your intelligence as an adult. Instead, it makes you feel seen as an adult and how you might react in these situations. As a mother, I felt so seen in Baby Ray's and Sticky Gecko. No, I've got eight kids. Wait, no, nine. I had no idea. Wow, you must have learned a thing or two. I have, and there's something you need to know. What? You're doing great. I cried twice in Baby Race, and even in the episode Granddad as well. It's a similar situation to what I have with my father, always telling him that he needs to rest. Granddad's just had heartworm. The doctor says he needs to rest. <laughs> Granddad! Dad, what are you doing? Oh, strength, quick, grandkids! You're meant to be resting! And that ending, every single time, breaks me into tears. It teaches you that it's okay to fail mum's school sometimes, and that you might put a lot of effort into salads and no one really cares because they care about the meat. Silly little things that are actually really mean a lot to us and can make us feel seen as a parent. But it always encourages you, I think as well, to do better. Yeah, you might want to sit down and you might want to relax and you might want to have some quiet time, but at the end of the day, your children are only children once and you only get one chance to play with them on that day. And you never know what kind of experience they might have. What did she give you? Everything. The show also shows how kids react to their parents' emotions and how they deal with situations. Hey, what you need Come to on. give me is bingo, let go. 
Sorry, sorry, you need to give me four, not five. No, uh, yeah, we've already got one of those. Especially in the episode both fairies and copycats. In fairies, yeah, Bandit doesn't have the time to talk to Bingo at that moment because he's busy on the phone working. What are the repercussions? The fairies! But it's a really solid way of showing how an adult can apologize to a child and get them to understand what's going on. Hey, Frozen Bingo. If I've ever hurt your feelings, I'm really sorry, mate. Must feel really bad when your dad does that. Just know that I love you, kid, and I'd do anything for you. Same thing with Copycat, showing them how to react to some really hard situations and work their way through that process. The adults are their role models, their parents are their role models, and it shows you a really good way of how you can be that positive role model in your child's life, or if you're a teacher, how you can be that in their life as well. Overall, Bluey is just a fantastic show, shoved into just seven minutes, but each seven minutes tells an entire story of a experience that anyone could have been having and how to deal with that experience as both a child and as an adult as well. So if you have watched Bluey, comment down below what is your favorite episode. And if you've never seen Bluey before, I cannot recommend enough going to watch it. And if you need a good recommendation, Dance Mode is a pretty good one to watch. Oh boy. Are you ready, Bingo? <laughs> this seems to happen to us a lot. Like no one's watching. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this for my kids. said and season three finally hitting Australia I'm gonna be doing a little bit more content about Bluey like the Easter eggs for each episode as well as all the Australian references in it so that all my friends here in America and overseas can understand all the funny jokes as well and join in on the laugh if there's any other content that you would like me to make aside from the Bluey content and the sort of Australia versus America content also please just let me know down in the comments below don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe as well for more bye